Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the Ember series, and let's talk about the component this time. First of all, what is component? It's a reusable and configurable unit, and you can put a component inside the router or inside another component. For example, we're at the index route, and then as you can see here, there's a two product card inside the product list, and then both are using the product component. And within the product, we have image component to handle all the image related logic. And then there's a details component to have all the details information about the product, including the names, rating, and also the price. Let's back to our code base. And we want to add a shopping cart icon in the icon detail page as well. So one of the solution here is to copy paste the code from the index page. And we also want to have like a container here. So copy paste this part to here as well. As you can see here, the solution works well, but it's not ideal. So if we wanted to update anything for this icon, we have to update both the places. So that's why we need to introduce the component here. So let's kill the job and we do Ember G stands for generate component general container and let's open the components template and then what we need to do is to copy paste everything in here and then just add the yield tag in here using yield is leaving a placeholder for the content of the component box which is the place to store any child contents from the outside so the real code will expand better and let's go back, let's store this and go back to the index page and let's add the element here, the general container and let's move all the contents in, inside the block and remove the rest of the stuff save it and also run ember-s and let's go back to our home page you will notice everything is stayed the same and then you may notice the uh, the way of the Ember component name it, even though there is a dash case inside the code base, but in here is a camel case, and also the first letter has to be uppercase. Let's do the similar stuff to the identities page. So we copy this to here, and move the content inside the block, and then remove the rest. After we save it, we go to the detail page. You will see everything stay the same as well. Let's go to the components tab inside the Ember Inspector. You can see under the application route is the item route, and then there's a general container component, and within that component is the link to component. So link to component, as we mentioned in the previous tutorial, is the component with the Ember by default, and it helps you to link to the other page. So let's go back to the home page and then you can see very similar structure but with like three different link to under the general container component so let's start work on the product component we do ember g component product and then the first thing we're going to do is to move the link to inside the product component and replace the enemy here so let's open product template and then replace the things in here and also change this product so if you don't want to pass anything within this block you can just do a self-closing tag in here like this and let's run our app and refresh so you can see there's a two product one in here and then if you click on it it jumps to the item page which is perfect it's back to here so we will need to have a image on the left side and the details on the right side. In order to do that, we're going to create a new style sheet called the product and also import that into our app.sus. Let's make our product component look a little bit better by adding some background color in the image and also specify the size of the card. Let's add more specification on the wrapper component and then 
let's add a box shadow to make it fancy and I think we need a border radius to make it look a little bit better so since the component is the uh, link to tag we need to remove the default style of the anchor tag by set up the text decoration to none let's go to the public folder and then create an asset slash images folder to store our image and then you will find out the image in the description down below and let's go back to the product component and add the image here just simply copy the relative path and remove the public and save it you will see the image is a little bit overflow so let's add some styles we will need to make sure the image is not overflow and then use flexbox to secure that in the absolute center let's back to our template and add some details inside the details section so the first thing we're going to add is the name of the product and also the rating so for the rating we're going to use the font awesome icon and some Bootstrap CSS class. The next is the price section. So if we use the delete element, it will have the strike through effect. The UI is a little dense right now. Let's use Flexbox to create some space. The UI looks really pretty, but I want, we wanted to break the component into a smaller component so that's easier to maintain. In order to doing that, we're gonna introduce the nested component, which we can put the multiple component under the same directory. So we can do ember g component product slash image to create an image component, and also ember g product slash details for the details component. Look at the file structure, these two components are sits in the components slash product and let's move all the image related stuff inside the image component the way we use the nested component is slightly different so if you think it's going to be product slash image that's wrong it's going to be product double column image let's run our app to see what's happening as you can see here, everything is the same. And if you look at the Ember Inspector, you will notice there is a nested component sitting here. Let's do the similar stuff for the details component. Basically, we just copy over everything into that component. And we do product, double colon, details, and self-close. Yep, looks good. Everything is the same and you will see the details component in here as well now let's go to the item details page and enrich the page so we just simply copy and paste the product image and details component into the item route you will see the styles is a little bit off because we don't have the container class so let's add it in here and move this component inside Now it looks good. So since this is the item details page, we want to have a list of the features. So let's add a H5 and then a list. It looks a lot better right now. So since it's in the item details page, I wanted to remove the box shadow in here and then make, make it more slightly different with the home page. So let's add a class in here. Now it looks perfect. That's pretty much about this tutorial. Hit the like button if you like it. Subscribe if you want more. So for the next video, I'm going to continue to talk about the component and focus on the track the properties, getter, and actions. See you next time. Peace.